What are we looking at today? We have Virtual Man's latest retro bat build for your computer with all of his add-on packs. So yes, you can have a eight terabyte, tens and tens of thousands of games build. Everything from systems from Atari 1970s all the way up to Xbox 360, Nintendo Switch, I believe, is, you know, in the Horizon PlayStation 3, um, and then everything in between, PSP, Naomi, Dreamcast, SNES, N64, and because it's running on a PC, you don't have the bottlenecks like you have on a lot of emulation devices, a lot of single board computers. So this is the latest and the greatest. If you're wondering what the, what's new with this, I thought you reviewed this in the past, I have, but now even more fixes, more compatibility, more emulators, more ROMs, the latest version retro bat more themes more options uh more emulator cores light gun support on and on and on so something that was already really cool really kick ass is even better now and uh i'm digging the themes i'm doing everything that's going on here this thing puts other emulation you know communities and things a run for their money um a lot of detail goes into these builds, like a lot, a lot, a lot of details. Um, and it is build your own adventure. So whether you want to do a 128 terabyte gigabytes or you want to go up to eight terabytes, you absolutely can. You could pick and choose what you want here. And it is great. You might be wondering, well, what's the catch? Well, I'll, I'll do that at the end of the video. But for now, let's go ahead and check out um, the systems, the games, you know, how I updated what you how you might go approaching this build and uh everything in between but um i'm digging it i'm really really digging it and uh i think you will too so let's check it out a shot Virtual Man back at it again, this time with his Retro Bliss version 3.5 for the PC. And man, this is the most comprehensive build I've ever reviewed. I don't even have every single add-on pack installed right now. You're seeing these systems here. He's added Xbox 360. He's added, you know, you name it. Naomi, Atomus Wave, uh, SNES, all the Ataris, all the computer systems. Everything from 1970 to almost current. Uh, Nintendo Wii, Wii U, you know, you name it. I only have one that's almost four terabytes of 17,000 games. But if you're wondering, this is the latest and the greatest build. Um, what happened is he did a bunch of fixes. He has a ton more themes that you can install here. I'm really liking this theme actually right here. Like, look how beautiful it is. You go into a system here. You have your favorites that go to the top. You can favorite and some unfavorite things. You got video snaps being played. So much information. Interesting font. The font is good. Really easy to read, I would say. And if you notice, it's on the computer, so it's super lag-free for the most part. Like, it's super smooth. Obviously, that's going to depend on how powerful your computer is. But look at this thing. Let's go ahead and try out a new... You just hit start on your controller here. He beta tests everything. He has people telling him if things messed up. So let's go to user interface, theme set. I'm on the Planet V, man. Let's go to Carbon Light. Um, and uh, switches themes pretty quick. Like I said, this is running Retro Bat. That's the front end here. And he has his own custom themes that we're looking at right now. So, you know, some of these themes, you've seen themes throughout Emulation Station, etc. And uh, these are custom themes that were made. So if you notice, all the fonts have kind of changed now. So I like this. It's kind of a full screen. You get a little, um, a little rectangle here. Oh, I love that the games populate underneath. That's pretty cool. And then, so for example, and then let's go ahead and go into a system. You can see the system itself. You can see how what, when the system was released, 1996 at the upper left, 294 games available. And then you go in, you've got a picture, and then you've got something called a video snap, which is a preview. Uh, H, I believe, stands for homebrew. Um, and then you have all kinds of games in here. You have the complete Nintendo 64 collection. Um, you can see your hotkeys at the bottom. And... Um, you have all sorts of other systems here as well. So pretty cool. I really like this one. Really cool theme. And then just takes a minute. So Super Nintendo CD. All right, let's check out another theme here. So we click here. Let's go to Books Enhanced V-Man. And uh, you can see his release notes if you're interested in, you know, what is different here, what's going on. Um, you know, there's definitely lots of fixing things. All right, so right off the bat, you've got a wheel on the right. So it switches to a wheel navigation. And then you have different full screen things here. This is gorgeous. 
Is this not gorgeous? Really pretty. Let's go ahead and click into his system, Sega Saturn, for example. All right, and then you got another wheel here. Now the wheel, it's funny, like it doesn't, it's an interesting theme, like the wheel only does the two thirds of the upper right corner, right? It's not the whole right side. That's kind of interesting. And uh, so all this is free. He makes this all in his, you know, join the V-Man forums. He has, there's people talking over there, fixing and stuff like that. But wow, this is beautiful. And, um, you know, when this first came out, there's some little issues here and there. But right now, I haven't found a single thing messed up with this. So here's the Retro Bliss V-Man theme. Um, and like I said, this is a build your own adventure type of thing. There's ROM packs for every system. So you can choose whether to make this 128 gigabytes or 8 terabytes and anywhere in between, depending on what systems you want. Some people are going to be like, oh, well, what if I want, um, what if I want, um, you know, for example, uh, only some Nintendo 64 games? Well, you'd have to probably, I would just download the whole pack and then delete the ones you don't want myself. Um, you're going to have to alter the game list and everything else like that. Um, you know, if you're really that particular, but, um, this is a, um, you know, it's a, it, it's very comprehensive. There's even games for windows here, like Cuphead, Double Dragon, things like that. Pinball, Pinball FX3, a lot going on there. Um, so this theme, not my favorite, but, uh, you can tell it's a, oh, that's cool. That's a cool, um, animation there. I like the animation on this one. Um, really beautiful, really beautiful stuff. Uh, you have retro achievements on here. Uh, we'll get into some other stuff a little later. I just want to check out all the themes right now. Retro grid. And what I was doing there is just if you hit start on your controller, that's what's so great about Retrobat is there's no scripts or anything. It's just all menu system based. Everything you want to do is probably already on the system. So super user friendly. All right. I can already tell I like this one. Cool. So Back to those rectangles as far as the menu system. But you got things coming on the left, things coming on the right. Um, and then when, let's go ahead and go into arcade, for example. And it uh, looks like you got a full wheel on the right. You got arcade, arcade cabinet. It's so interesting that it moves. You see that? So the logo moves, and then you get the box art, and then the video snap starts to play. Now, if they matched up with coin ops here and got the cabinets to change at the same time, that would be radical. But, um, you know, overall, cool. And then, oh, you can just launch it. I accidentally launched the game. But as you see here, when you launch a game, it has a loading screen. And then it pulls up the emulator, full screen, all ready to go. Something I like about the arcade games is there are, you know, shaders on there. So, um, you know, the shaders look really good. Um all right, so I'm gonna. I, I'm thinking my favorite theme is. I think the arcade. It's one of the first couple on this build, but uh, let's just go through some of the collections here, and you can just see. Yeah, I really like this. I love the controller. The controller is really cool. Um, and so just getting off the start, um, you can hit start on your controller. You got game settings. You can update your game list, change the shaders from the, wow, that's cool that you can shade from here. Retro arch options, screen sync, audio, AI game translation, drivers, save state. Wow. All that stuff is available to you right there. User interface. That's where I changed my theme. You could turn it on and off screen savers. That's like, if you leave your controller down, do you want it to start playing uh, games? And then you can change what you want to show. I mean, that's another thing you do is you only show you know, change the way uh, what's being shown. Controller settings. So mine, I haven't messed with mine, but if you plug in a different controller, you need to bind it. It's really easy to do here in controller mapping, especially if you have two player, three player, or even four players. Um, oh man, so I accidentally hit mine. So I'll just go ahead and do one. So we got uh, A, B, X, Y, start, select, up, down, left, right, uh, left, and then right. And then left analog stick up and left, right analog stick up and left, and then L2, R2, and then click in your analog sticks. And I like select for my hotkey. And so that's how easy it is. Sound settings. I turned off the music. This thing is fully loaded with all kinds of music. Um, I turned off the front end music, but typically this is on right here. And then they play music, but I want it off. Oh, I went too fast, I think. I think I got to go back. All right, there we go. Now it's off. And uh, you can lower music, enable navigation sound. Those are these clicks when I go between um, uh, systems or games. All right, and then game collection settings. You could you can add or remove game collections. So, for example, there's some game collections over here. Uh, like, 
uh, four player games as a game collection, right? It's just going to list out all the four player games, for example, right? So you can uh, change the way you group your games. Uh, Scraper allows you to scrape artwork. Updates and downloads. This is really cool. You can go ahead and download the Bezel Project. You can download additional themes. Uh, you can even check for updates. Um, and uh, I wonder where could we go? System settings, information. We can go ahead and see what version of Retrobat. There you go. Information. We're on 5.0.0 stable Win64 version. See, I'm using three terabytes of space. Wow, it even tells me my graphic card. Wow, they know a lot. I'm running OpenGL 2.1, uh, RTX 3060. Wow, that's cool. Man, Retrobat is really cool. This is this 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 is not just virtual man. I mean, the Retrobat team, his audience, like so many people, uh, a lot of the graphic designers, you know, people that work on this stuff. There's so much going into this. It's really cool. Really well done. All right, so just have, let's just have a quick peek here. Oh, there's even more collections if you go in here. There's 40 collections. You got baseball, basketball, Batman. You got all these CPS 1, 2, and 3, golf, King of Fighters, Mario, Mega Man games, Mortal Kombat games. So Mortal Kombat games, for example. Here's all your Mortal Kombat games. And uh, it should tell you the system. Yeah, next to it, Genesis, SNES, Game Boy, Game Gear, right? So all the different Mortal Kombats from PSP, Dreamcast, Sega Saturn, Open board games, GameCube version, so much, right? So lots of collections in there. All right, Retrobat itself, you got the level up updater. So he can run the script. It'll update any kind of updates that he does. If there's like a quick fix you need to do, you can collect, you could sync your collection, sync your uh game list 3d send nes 3d emulators installed i did read that he added the uh light light gun drivers i bet they're in here you got duck station for those of you that like to play with the playstation the graphics you got the playstation 2 different versions of the emulator to play around with you got project 64 on here redream so it's a lot of emulator cores on here and um use a Oh, you do have the Switch and the Xbox 360. So just goes to show he's probably going to be dropping those soon. We're going to look at those maybe before you saw this or later on in the video. Um, I did want to see the... Um, so maybe I missed it, but I did read that they're going to have a uh, light gun support. I don't know what exactly that is on there. Okay, let's go back. Um, and that's really... The first thing is really the coolest thing, which is that he can run updates on this anytime you know when if there's like something broken so here's my build you know i i only have three terabytes i don't have any of the new systems i need to get them um but uh these are really complete so 3do you got 87 games amstrad arcade over 2000 arcade games this is back in the raspberry pi days when he was making raspberry pi images he pretty much carried over his um arcade set really well done it has all the, you know it has you can mess with the shaders if you want. The shaders look good as is, but you can mess with them. And then it has, you know, all the correct cores are set up. So all the games run. You know, it's perfect in that regard. You got the Ataris here. Jaguar, 60, 59 games. Now, Jaguar uh, Jaguar actually runs pretty good on a computer compared to the Raspberry Pi 4. So that's always something fun to play around with. Atari Lynx, Coley, Co, Commodore 64. So a lot of these older systems I'm not going to spend too much time with. Uh, but Daphne, a lot of people like these old Daphne games. A lot of fun, especially on the computer because you use your keyboard. Um, and television. So Neo Geo, you got the whole entire set, your metal slugs, things like that. But you also got Neo Geo CD, pretty much the entire set as well. Some Neo Geo portables, Nintendo 64, pretty much all the Nintendo 64 games. And I can tell you right now, they run really well on the computer. You can run that stuff all day, any day. Mario Party, you name it. GoldenEye will run great. Nintendo DS, I saw some updates here. You know, it's even better as far as when you play them, how it's played. Um, you know, they got it set up for you pretty well. I personally don't like emulating Nintendo DS too much. There's some good games on there, though. But, um, you know, if you want to do it, it's running really good. Now, I did see that it ha he does have a pack for the 3D Nintendo games and also the HD Nintendo games as well. Um, and you got your all your Nintendo systems. Every Nintendo system you can imagine. GameCube, 530 games. That's a lot of games right here. This is a lot of where my space is on my hard drive. It's just in the GameCube games. And if anybody ever collects GameCube games, you know how expensive they are. So being able to emulate them is nice, especially considering they're worth so much money and you don't want to scratch them, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, Super Nintendo, you got the MSU as well. This is a big file. These MSUs are like 30 gigabytes worth of ROMs there because a lot of uh, audio. 
Oh, by the way, did you know that some PlayStation games, you can put them in a stereo and they'll play the music from them? All right, we 65, and I don't know if this is the full pack or not. I know he might have released another pack since then, but there is a Wii pack. Beats of Rage, these are all homebrew games, things like that. Really cool collection there. PlayStation, 1,200 games. Jeez Louise. Yeah, that's a big file right there. All these PlayStation games. They are the full audio files. He has them compressed as much as you can while still experiencing the full experience. And, uh, you know, with the sound and everything else. And uh, I think you got a couple You got a couple different emulator options here, too. You know, if you go here and then you... Um, uh, here we go. Advanced system options. You can change shaders. So it's on Swan Station right now, Labretto Swan Station, but you can change it to PSX Rearmed or Duck Station or Auto, which is pretty cool. So you can change the emulator on the PlayStation and you can play with the settings on the emulators. PlayStation 2, 150 games. Again, I don't know. And again, on this system, I don't know if I have all of them. I know there's a ton of packs. I know he released more PlayStation 2 packs. As you all know, PlayStation 2, there's thousands of games. So. Yeah, there's more to be played there. PSP, 700 games. Jesus. So, you get the picture. There's just a ton of stuff here. PSP minis, ports. This is fun. He's got a lot of really cool ports. Brutal Doom, Streets of Rage Remake. Um, okay, so here's your 3D Sen. This is your, gonna be your, your 3D Nintendo games. Contra Evolution. So, really cool. Jazz the Jackrabbit, Dooms, Duke Nukem's, Quakes. Uh, Zelda, all that fun stuff. Scum VM, 120 games, Sega 32X, Atomus Wave, Dreamcast, Game Gear, uh, Sega Genesis, Sega Master System. Uh, you got, so I don't have all these up, but the packs, the M2 pack, there's over a dozen or maybe, maybe even more games. I don't have the full packs on these yet. I need to get them. Naomi, 90, Sega Saturn, SG-1000, Sega CD. It just keeps going and going. Games for Windows. You got Cuphead, Double Dragon, all the fun stuff. Kung Fury, Kung Fury Street crime. Rage. What a game. Uh, more portables and then our collections. And mind you, I don't even have all the different emulators, all the different packs on here. Let's. So here you are on his board, V-Man Images. You can go ahead and download this base image. This is the Retro Man Fierce Bliss Level Up V version 3.5 PC build. That's the base image with just the ports on it. You need to then go get ROMs. So if you go over there to, um, to the add-on bundles, this is where all your ROMs are. You know, the first one I would get is the uh, consoles right here, version 1. It gives you all these systems here that I have highlighted. Uh, this works for Raspberry Pi 4 or PC if you want to do that. I recommend I'm running this on the PC though. And uh, let's just look at some of these newer packs that I haven't gotten yet because I just need to get around to doing it. But uh, you got Sega Genesis Mega Drive MSU games. I don't even have that one yet. 55 games on the MSU. So those are the high quality sound ones. Sega Naomi 2, eight more games. Pinball Bliss, virtual and visual pinball added. Microsoft Xbox 360, 225 games. PS Vita, 100 games. Nintendo 3DS, I haven't downloaded that pack yet. PlayStation 3, the Techno Parrot, I have the pack, I just haven't uh, extracted it yet. Nintendo Wii uh, add-on, another 255 games. Uh, I have Nintendo DS. Uh, now, as far as Windows, I don't know if I have all the volumes there. Seven different volumes uh, of games to check out there. Mugen, I don't have that. Vic 20, Apple 2. Uh, there's even a new arcade bundle here for arcade games. Rock and Bliss. So those of you that want to play Rock Band on your uh, on your con on your computer, Xbox Original, OG Xbox, not Xbox 360. Amiga Bliss. I mean, it's just cr it goes on and on and on and on. So you just download the image, you add in your uh, add-on packs, and that's it. All right, so some house cleaning items. You can see I've got my V drive here. You do need to set it as your V, you know, C, D, E, F. You have to manually make it a V drive. It's on an external hard drive. Mine's only four terabytes. You know, you might want to go up to eight terabyte if you want to get everything. Um, you might be see some things here that you don't have. You know, I haven't extracted a couple add-ons yet, and I threw them on the hard drive for now. I got a backup for some old builds that you're not going to have. But uh, here it is. If you're updating your old one, you want to go ahead and delete all your tools. Just delete, press delete here. Say yes. I don't want to do that. Um, and then 
<laughs> I thought it would prompt me. Um, and then also uh, ports over here in ROMs and then under ports, you'll just double click it, you'll delete everything out of here. And then uh, the Retrobat directory itself, go back to my V drive and the Retrobat, you'll delete everything up over here except your ROMs and your backups because you don't want to delete all your ROMs, okay? And then uh, what I did is I went ahead and downloaded the build. So here's the download here, it comes in five files, you're just gonna go ahead and right click. And then I have seven zip, you just unzip them with seven zip. There is a password, you can get the password in the VMAN forums where you're gonna get this file to begin with. When you extract it, it's gonna extract these files here I have highlighted. Oh, sorry. These five files here I've highlighted. Go ahead and copy, control C. You definitely want to extract them first on your C drive. on my C drive, on my main hard drive, on my computer. Over to my V drive here and I just pasted it all here. It might ask you to uh, overwrite existing folders. Go ahead and say yes. And then you can just load it up and it should have all the ROMs you had before. As you can see here, I have a ton of packs, Nintendo, Nintendo DS, Nintendo 64, all kinds of stuff. I did go ahead and download the V-Man add-ons console pack, and that's a four, it's like 32 gigabyte file uh, download, or not even, it's like 20 gigabyte file. You know, I extracted it, it turns into ROMs here, and you get Vetrix, PC Engine, SG-1000, SNES, the whole collection of all these systems. And so all you would do is you would copy these, and then go over to Retrobat, go to the here, or go to ROMs, you know, and you would paste it in your ROMs folder. Now, if this is your first time installing Retrobat, there are some tools you have to install and things like that, but that's pretty much it. I mean, downloading the base image and downloading, for example, that, that ROMs pack I was just showing you gets you rocking and rolling. Uh, there are some things you need to read through, the notes and stuff, but that's the gist of it. And you can kind of build this as you want. You can turn it into a little 128 gigabyte image. You could turn it into a, two, a one terabyte, two terabyte, three terabyte, depending on what systems you want. And then obviously, you know, you're always going to be limited by how powerful your computer is. You know, running Techno Parrot or something like that is going to require a much more graphic intensive uh, computer. All right, so final thoughts. Obviously this thing gets an A, got an A before, why wouldn't get an A now? It's just improved on something that was already amazing. And if you're wondering what, uh, why I think it's so great is it's just so comprehensive. I don't know anyone else. I do a couple, there's only a couple other groups that are making this comprehensive of a build that also support this many ROMs. Like they're actually checking the ROMs, not just the front end and the graphics. Um, and they're making fixes, the community's big, it's just a constant improvement. Like there's not many, and this is definitely uh, a big one out there. That community, this community continues to grow and um, they're doing great, great things. Um, visually it's great, performance wise it's great. And then Retrobat itself, like shout out to the Retrobat team. Retrobat is such a great front end. You know, you have a couple of options out there, you know, some things I review, like CoinOps or LaunchBox. And this one, because it comes with the packs as well that go with it, and the packs are pre-set up and they drag and drop and stuff like that, it's really, they're not really competing on the same game there, um, especially with how comprehensive um, this, this build is. There's a few other builders out there that do something similar, but um, this is definitely in the top three, no doubt in my mind. Uh, now you might be wondering what negatives do you have? Well, if I really have to poke holes in this thing, I think one negative is for some people, which has never been an issue for me, is just you have to join the virtual man forums. It's free to join. There is a donation button and, you know, maybe you should consider doing that, especially if you find value in this. But, um, you know, some people are like, oh, you have to pay to get this. And you don't have to, um, but that is some of the things I've heard. And then the second thing being um, graphically, if uh, you really want to, um, Virtual Man's names all over it, V-Man, Virtual Man is you know, on the graphics, on the introduction videos, on you know, a bunch of other stuff in the themes, things like that, um, which I think is you know, for the work that's been put on I mean, it, it's totally fine, but I'm just saying, I think there's some people out there that might want it to just say PlayStation or just say Nintendo and only have Mario being shown, you know, for example. And then the third one being bandwidth, but you're gonna have that issue no matter what, unless you buy something like this on Amazon pre-configured or like Alibaba Express or something like that, which you know, is the issue for any uh, of these that you see on my channel. So with that being said, I'm digging it. Like I said, it gets an A, you know, I really have to, you know, poke holes and, you know, find things that, you know, aren't really even issues to begin with. But um, I'm digging it. As you can see here, I pretty much beat the whole game in Contra reviewing this thing. Uh, but uh, <laughs> fun times, you know, make your dreams come true just in the in time for the holidays. So congrats to the virtual man community, everyone over there that's doing good work, everyone in the readme file there, you know, awesome stuff. I'm digging it. And I know you guys will too.